and we're back again. So right now I have the Gentle Giant Republic Commando Mini Bust. Now, as far as the Republic Commando line goes, as far as I'm aware, there have been other Republic Commandos that have been released in the past, um, such as Scorch and Boss, I think it was one of them, I'm not sure. I think there was four or five others. So I'm not quite sure what um, Gentle Giant's release plan was with the other ones who were specific characters versus this one who was a generic Republic Commando. Unfortunately, I got in late into the Gentle Giant collecting and I cannot seem to find any reasonably priced Republic Commandos from the past. But luckily, I was able to pick this one up. They have the added lighting feature, which I'll show later in the, in the review. And I love this piece. It's huge. It's, it just has so many simple features that just make it stand out because it is so unique. I mean, no other clone trooper or stormtrooper really has this persona or this badass heavy duty look. These are, you know, like the Gears of War style buff going into the front lines, just taking control Republic commandos of the Star Wars universe. So first up with the gun, it is a pretty heavy looking blaster, um, you know, larger than the normal blasters that clone troopers or stone troopers usually have. Um, just a specialized gun, you know, for them. I'm not too familiar with the Republic Commando backstories. Um, I know they are, they were designed and molded and grown from the Cam Camino group to, um, you know, be the greatest there are basically at that time and overall this is just a generic Republic Commando figure as you know Gentle Giant released just the Republic Commando he has his backpack and you know the heavy duty armors the shoulder pads and um, down here in the wrists and the forearms the helmet is a little bit different you know you can tell from the regular clone troopers it's more I guess just a more simple helmet, kind of reminds you of Halo instead of the normal clone trooper or stormtrooper. His This is the only position it comes in, it doesn't come with interchangeable parts, but I'm okay with it because I love this position, you know, just a standing back waiting to take orders or run into battle. It stands about six and a half inches tall, about the same size as the Iron Man mini bust, so I have him, Iron Man, and Rick Grimes all on the shelf next to each other. So these are the three musketeers of my Gentle Giant pieces for now. A little bit closer detail on the shoulder pads. Let me see. There we go. And the helmet too. You know, small rivets and crevices going in. Even the back of the helmet. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure that's not weathering. But I could be mistaken because down here on the um, pads. It looks like there is some battle damage or it could just be the design of the armor. The back does look like weathering and battle damage so probably the helmet is as well. The small gray marks and scuffs as well as the gun having you know the painted wear. That is from the paint that's not damage or anything so if you purchase this don't be afraid. And Here's some more detail on the forearms. And it is a pretty heavy piece, you know, when you pick it up. A lot heavier than, let's say, like the Iron Man, who also has the uh, lighting feature, but is seems pretty hollow. So let's go on the bottom. So here you see it is 173 out of 950. 950 is the run, or the addition, num addition size, I'm sorry. And right here is the switch that you flip and comes on the visor lighting. Even in the daylight, it is pretty noticeable. Um, it's even better in the dark, you know. This is one of my favorite light up pieces because the mask is so unique and recognizable. In the dark, when you see this, you instantly recognize it as a Star Wars character or even a clone or Republic Commando, you know, depending how familiar you are with the characters. And I'll show you again with the light off. So even with the light off, there's still the uh, blue gel looking, or you know, the blue face mask. And this is one of my favorite pieces. Of, you know, I say that about all of them, but each piece has such a unique characteristic. 
This one being simple and with the all white with the black trim. It just stands out in the group of collectibles and it's so massive it cannot be missed. So thank you guys for watching and hope you pick this one up soon.